That used to be way harder to replicate. This is our best cowbell yet. Welcome back, I'm Tedward, and welcome to the Vineyard Series event here at Noman's iconic location for coffee, breakfast, lobster rolls, all the good stuff. I've got my coffee, and I'm here with Overland Concepts, a new brand from Ren Scott making all these beautiful CNC machined parts aftermarket for your Land Rover. Now, most of these are CNC machined and then anodized. You can get them in silver and black, but they also do additive manufacturing. So this is actually a 3D printed piece. Now that everything's just about wrapped up here at Nomans, we're gonna take the Overland Concepts Defender 110 off to the Jaws Bridge and then to the beautiful parking lot actually on South Beach in Katama, which is great. Anyway, we have so many cameras and things here. We're just trying to keep a count of all the stuff we've got. I think we'll be okay. We'll probably have to move some of these chairs into the back to get all of the boys inside. And uh, then we're off. It's such a treat that we're able to park here at Noman's. What a wild ability. I mean, never would you think that you get to drive back here. And we come out here and there's a million defenders. Yes, that's what we like to see. And there's Ian installing one of the door handles. Yes, 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 looking good. Look at this, there's the electric one, the raglan, very cool to see. And then right there is the man himself, Steve Serio of Bond Group in Waltham, Massachusetts. That's our guy. Thank you to the police Charlie. for this. Now there's quite a lot of slack in the drive line of this bad boy. Get those earmuffs on. We played with the U-joint on this drive shaft and boy oh boy does it have some uh, 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 looseness to it. So being really nice and gentle with these upshifts and downshifts, making sure those revs are matched and we're not just slamming drive line parts. Not a good time. We don't want to snap anything. But look how cool this is. We're coming up to the Jaws Bridge Classic. This is where the, uh, the the boat was when that dude just got straight up eight. It's crazy. Can't believe it. Now, what's crazy about this event is that we've got a bunch of defenders, the least reliable vehicles basically on the planet, which is weird because they travel the globe, yet everyone has horrific issues with these things. So not only are they like the most well-traveled vehicles on the planet, they're also just never functional at 100%. And We've got, they don't have much power, they don't go, they have, you know, somewhat crummy brakes, they don't stop, just keeping things interesting. Definitely the most exciting thing you can drive at low speed. So this, this is not Jaws Bridge, we're coming up to it, it's up there. And everyone's gonna be jumping off of it. I've got a new Defender 110 behind me, which is quite comforting because uh, we don't have brake lights right now, and I'm pretty confident that a new Defender can stop. Head on with the next three, guess who wins in that fight? Not my teeth, but definitely this vehicle. Body. Woo, Myers Manx. Oh my goodness. Oh, very loud. Very loud. <laughs> Gotta have it. Here we are, Jaws Bridge, baby. Ooh, somebody bought a Land Cruiser to a Defender event. <laughs> yes. Let's see, can we get anyone jumping? <laughs> Yeah! Woo! A keen eye might have noticed that there's like nothing happening on these gauges um, because yeah, there is nothing happening on these gauges. Um, what's weird though is like, while I have no power to those, if I put my lights on, like all of these lights work, which is so strange, which is great because if I have like low pressure in my oil or something, like I actually will know, but no speedo, no tack, no fuel. We did fill it, so I think we're okay and we certainly have no idea what the situation is with the uh, coolant temp. So we'll just play it by ear and we'll do the smoke test. So far, no smoke, we're good. <laughs> How many? Over 40? 
I think it's like a hundred. Yeah, there was quite a few. Is it really? There was a lot I, didn't make it out, I didn't make it out to the parking oh, lot. Dude, I was Cole's like in the back selling merch. Cole's <laughs> like, I don't know, more than 15. <laughs> I, was pedal, I was peddling merch the whole time. I was supposed to know. All right, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite noise that this vehicle makes. It's under no load, rolling in neutral. It's a cowbell. That's the noise. And I'm pretty sure that might just be that drive shaft, that U-joint playing around, but man, oh man, does it add some entertainment value to the old Rover. Now that we've spent a few years with this thing, like I trust it and I'm not afraid of it dying. If it dies well, you know, we'll, we'll We'll give it like a, a sailor's burial and just throw it out to sea or something like it belongs there but you know uh, i used to just like panic about this thing like oh is it really going to get us there or not i just don't care because i just enjoy driving it and whatever noise it makes it will make until it basically stops making that noise one way or another through most of the miserable traffic downtown cruising through to Katama Farm, South Beach. Let's go find out if there's gonna be room for all of these defenders. If not, we can at least take a quick peek at the grass strip, which is great because the airport that we're coming up to is actually a place I used to go to as a kid because I grew up flying airplanes. And during the summers, we'd actually do little fly-ins to this grass strip. We'd park up a bunch of airplanes and uh, go to the beach because you basically just cross the street. I'll show you what this looks like. It's pretty wild. And that's it. You can get biplane rides here, which is pretty wild. That looks really old. Those are proper like rotary engines. And uh, yeah, not messing around. There's a Piper Cub on pontoons, which looks pretty raucous. A Robinson R44 sitting over here in the corner. There's usually, oh man, the Cessna Caravan with the camo. Proper bush pilot vibes out there. And this is the runway. They come straight in, land in here. Ocean is right there. And there's a whole slew of little taxiways you can park right up over there and then you just cross the street and boom you're at the beach with your buds from your airplane defender traffic jam That sound just is get, getting worse. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be getting better. It's gonna, it, I just, I don't want the sound to go away because if the sound goes away, it means it's disconnected. <laughs> That's not good. We don't want I that. I honestly think we could jam some wood in there. And <laughs> Shim it? Yeah. Yeah, just some wood chips. Oh, sure. If it's not rattling, it's not connected. If it's not leaking, it's not full. And it's kind of an aim yeah, for this it's, thing, it's yeah. Pretty much all the Defender mantras. Yep. These cars baffle me because you see people spend like $200,000 restoring them and it's like, restoring what? It's a tuna can with an engine. And it's like, how? where does this money go? I don't, I just, I, this, this and like Porsche Speedsters. Speedsters I understand expense because of rarity, but then sometimes the restorations are outrageous and I don't understand those, but these I really don't get. These I really cannot comprehend the money that goes into these. I respect it for sure, but it, I don't see where it's going. I, I genuinely do not understand it. That used to be way harder to replicate. This is our best cowbell yet. Yeah. We cross our fingers and summon the Defender Gods to get us on and off a ferry with our drive shafts intact and our axles unsheared. Shear sheep, not axles. That is the Defender motto. Have we made a shirt of that yet? No, but I feel like I just I just thought of that and I'm like, you know what? I would like a t-shirt that yeah. says that. You yeah, got too many good ideas. Too many t-shirts. Would it be like a farm themed vehicle, like a Defender? Or like, could you do that with any? I think you do it. I don't know. Because the sheep theme is kind of farming. Oh, good. We get to do some minor off-roading. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Put it in the puddle. Hi. Hi. Um, you guys are good to take either Look back in there. The you can do it. Or you can go all the way Great. Down I'll sneak in right here. Awesome. Perfect. Is there like a ton of oil in the bottle? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, 
defenders. Okay, doggy. We'll get back here. Mr. Serio. We'll move that nice yellow lab. Again. Bond yeah. group himself. <laughs> so they made those plates. Yeah, yeah. One, yeah. Which is good. That's good. It'll look good. It's already on there. On old Oscar, yeah, let's check it out. It's, that's like so far This is awesome. Oh look at that. We've got the Vineyard Series plates on Oscar. We like to see that. And probably the best sticker on any of Steve's car is our flying French Bulldog. That's what you gotta have. That's how you know it's a Steve car. And poor Lewis just passed away, the inspiration for R that. Rest in peace. Yes. There's Cole getting it done, and let's take a little walk around and check out some of these things. You can't make this up. I mean, we've got everything out here. Oh man, it's insane how tall these things with the Wall Street plate. A little bit of yikes, but that's all right. Look at this, what a group. I think we gotta go pet some dogs. That's what it's all about. Of course. Hi, you an Aussie? Hi, sweetheart. A little blue Merle. Great coat. Good. He says I want to be friendly. <laughs> okay, he is too, yeah, yeah, thousand percent. These guys are living out of this thing from Germany and they're touring the country. This thing has a crazy living quarters in it. Absolutely awesome. And here's Cooper. Here's the Vineyard Vines Defender. This is probably my favorite of the bunch. This thing, look at this. How wild is that? Check out the fuel cell in here. Got a V8 under the hood. Beautiful. And look at this, we got some more pups. Yeah! Hi, bud. Oh, what a good dog. Sweet puppy. Yes, you're sweet. And that's going to wrap us for the Vineyard Series 2023. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive. And we'll see you in the next one.